After watching a PBS documentary called Wasteland about a huge garbage city in Rio de Janeiro, our group decided to research how garbage contributed to climate change. We found out that garbage was a significant contributor. In certain conditions, decomposing garbage actually produces methane, a top greenhouse gas. We organized a tour of the Middlesex County Landfill, the largest landfill in New Jersey, to learn more about how garbage is currently being taken care of. Before, we didn't really know what a landfill was. A hole in the ground that holds garbage is most people's simple definition. We saw as much more than that. Landfills have to be specially engineered to hold millions of tons of incredibly toxic garbage and try to keep any from leaking into the surrounding environment. As Brian T. Murray, our tour guide, the superintendent of operations at the landfill, said, After you leave your garbage on the curb, it doesn't just disappear. As we saw, it certainly did. Visiting the landfill was a reality check for all of us. to be, or a warehouse to 
are stored before they are even able to be sold. So that emits a lot of different gases into the air, and also a lot of carbon emissions from this truck. So in the end, your genes aren't cotton anymore. The cotton is what makes up your genes, but there's a lot of other stuff that were used to help make the cotton grow and help make other stuff, such as metals in the buttons and zippers, a lot of gas, hazardous chemicals, and energy. Though so there isn't literally you know, spots of oil on your genes or flames leaking out of your genes, all those stuff still helps make your pair of genes. So when you go into the garbage can with an old broken toy, old clothing, or a game missing pieces, think about what was needed to make the item in your hand. These are individually packaged bananas. <laughs> I mean, last time I checked, bananas came in their own natural package, so I don't know why they're doing this. It just really wastes. And individually wrapped jelly beans. There were a few things that really shocked me, and this is one of them. Imagine how much plastic they're using there. Imagine how much energy it took to package those in the factory, wrap it, transport it. Look how much more space it uses up too. One of the major things we do is shop and buy stuff. And this is actually not so good. Because what is buying stuff? In the end, it's just putting more stuff into your home. And that's more stuff that you throw out within the next six months. So these are three things that are very important for you to do. And they'll make a huge difference. First, you have to be the leader. You do it first. Don't think about others. Once you do it, people are going to follow. Don't just wait. And second, resist the lifestyle of consumerism, which basically is buying a lot. Stop buying so much. Instead, think about what you really need. If you really need that thing, and then buy it. Like for example, I had a pair of glasses that just broke. Well, they're because I stuffed my backpack too much. But instead of just um, throwing that on the trash and buying a new one, I could try fixing that instead. I mean, even though it was cracked, I could try fixing it in some way instead of just buying a new one. And third, care for the things you already have. To give our audience an idea of how much garbage they make, we planned an activity where we put weights in backpacks. These weights represented the amounts of garbage made by Americans in a day and week. Before telling the volunteers how much each backpack weighed, we had them guess. Okay. There are five pounds in that bag. You probably are going to make this much garbage by the end of this day. Now you pick up this bag. <laughs> At the end of the presentation, we answered the questions the Girl Scouts had about climate change. We took surveys before and after the presentations to see what they learned about climate change. The surveys included questions about landfills, other garbage facilities, and global warming. I did a project last year about climate change, but doing it on garbage impacted me more in my household because I wasn't I was recycling, but I wasn't composting. I wasn't focusing so much on reducing the amount of garbage. We weren't even recycling the cardboard. So this really opened my eyes for what we do at home. Yeah, I think so. It's very like you're very aware of everything that you throw out and um, that you get and stuff. So. Yeah, I think for me, buying smart more probably old things that are perfectly mm -hmm. fine, but I'm like, oh, look at that new thing at the store. I like that more than this. This is the older version. Oh, that's lame. Just keep on using it because it still used to help me a lot with public speaking. I, I never really used to like to talk in public. I always thought it was a big deal, and I was always nervous and. I just thought I was going to be totally embarrassed in front of everybody, but now it's something that comes to me really easy, that we've practiced a lot, and mm -hmm. I actually think it's kind of fun sharing your ideas and facts with other people. We've worked really hard on this, and we've done a lot of time, and we've had to focus a lot and be very organized. Um, I think it's changed my um, organization skills and research skills. I think um, it's really helped me to talk to large groups of people and it's really important to 
uh, portray what you're thinking, translate it into words, and tell other people what you feel. Yeah, I would want to learn more about climate change. You know, it's a current event, it's happening. We caused it to happen. Um, and if you want to reverse it and, you know, stop it, you do have to learn more about it and learn what I would actually learn more about climate change. I think it's an interesting subject. And I learned a lot, and it's changed me, and I can speak for that. I think it's changed all of us, yeah, too. I in my own house, I'm definitely going to be recycling a lot, of, a lot of my stuff and have a compost pile because mm -hmm. of this experience that I had, and that it was such a shock to me of all this garbage that we're making that I would definitely recycle a lot more and compost. On June 8th, um, we'll do the climate change presentation, um, how garbage contributes to climate change. Um, for the EQ homeschool teen group um, and we will do another presentation with the Girl Scouts later in the summer and we'll help them earn their environmental badges. Mm -hmm. For the teen group we'd be documenting a lot of our trip to the landfill and having pictures and maybe in the future we'll try to organize a trip where they can come see it themselves because it's really amazing. No matter what age you are you can change climate change, it's not too late, that we can still 